Bodybuilders, have you ever seen one? Do you know anything about these people except for what you've read in the magazines? Well, I hope not, because in the next four minutes, we're going to take you into the personal and professional lives of these elite athletes. I, I train four times a week. Why I train, I try and focus on mainly one body part a night. Basically it allows me to focus mainly, you know, on on that individual body part so I can put, you know, a lot of, you know, intensity into that. The way you eat, you're eating the food that's got no flavour at all, you know? <laughs> so it does become a bit painful. You come to the gym, you, you are, you, you, because you have uh, you know, calorie deficiency, you, know, you become very weak as well. You know? The weights are no longer you know, the same as what you're pushing before, so you've got to uh, adjust it. You know? And sometimes you get upset. You, know? you go home, you feel upset. You know? And, you know, it depends what you, uh, your support group is going to. You know? My wife, you know, she understands me, so she'll tolerate what I do. You know? But some people, if you don't, you're going to have a, have a difficult time doing it. Eat, eat good foods, you know? a good balanced food. There's, 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 there's no need to stop eating your pizzas or, you know, your Kentucky, if you like that sort of thing, or McDonald's. I myself, I have not eaten McDonald's for uh, about two years now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Look at that. It's not like that because uh, to, to eat McDonald's, I'd rather go and meet the Subway. Yeah. You know, realistically, so, Subway, I can go in there, you know, and choose what I want on a fresh, you know, piece of bread. We try not, not, not to eat a lot of bread uh, ourselves, you know, but, uh, you know, because it's a, you know, a complex carb that, you know, a, a, a slow the digestion down. Yeah, so it takes a longer period of time to break down. So we try to keep away from that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you know, if you eat sensibly, you know, there's anything you can eat, but as long as you know, be rational about it. Supplements, look, you know, uh, there are a variety of supplements in the market, and I'm lucky enough that I'm actually, you know, uh, uh, involved in the supplement industry as well, uh, working the store. And not only that, too, I actually now am sponsored by a supplement company as well. So uh, that benefits me a lot, you know. I didn't know uh, how much supplement important is until I actually started getting extra because they are costly. Magic water. Magic <laughs> water. That's some aminos, creatine, and some glutamine. Basically, I'm refueling myself before my body depletes of it. So yeah, I've got about 10 grams of, you know, of uh, uh, brand chain aminos. Uh, and then another 10 grams of creatine, 10 grams of glutamine, and about 30 grams of carbohydrates uh, mixed in there. Yeah. Competitive bodybuilding, I've been uh, doing this competitive there for 10 years. Uh, but overall training, I've been training for about 20 years. Yeah, I'm 44 years old now. So, uh, uh, so I started, you know, in, in my, you know, uh, just uh, probably uh, early 20s. Yeah. yeah, I was lucky enough that you know when I started out, like I said, I wasn't comfortable being in front of a, a big audience. Uh, my younger brother was a bit more of an outgoing guy, so he taught me that side of it. The first competition, I was a bit, you know, like anyone else, the first competition, he, you're going to be nervous. You know, no matter what sport you do, once you step on and you've got a, a thousand people looking at you, you know, you are going to be a bit nervous. So, uh, but these days now, I'm comfortable now, and when I'm actually ready to go on stage, I want to go in and show it off. Because majority of the people are there, they're there for one reason, you know, either that if they didn't like it, they wouldn't be there. Yeah. So they're there because they like the sport, so they're there to watch you. So you want to go in there and be comfortable and just be relaxed and just show the people that, you know, hey, this is what I look like and this is what I want to show you what I look like. Yeah.